Welcome back to another episode of my Subnautical Let's Play series. I was really unprepared for this. Um, whoops. <laughs> Anyways, let's jump into the game. Uh, actually, one sec. Audios. Uh. Yeah, there we go. Audios are audioing. Yeah, you can kind of tell that I was a little unprepared for that. Um, start off with, hey, hi, hello. That didn't happen. It was just, boom, there it goes. All right, so. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Is it hot in here? <laughs> Am I having a stroke? <laughs> Let's see here. Continue. If y'all give me a second, I got some things to adjust. There we go. Alright, so what are we doing today? I think we're looking for fragments. Trying to get stuff built. Loading. There we go. Get a bit of food here. High capacity tank. I think we were trying to make that, weren't we? The ultra high capacity tank. No, we already have the ultra high capacity tank. Awesome. All right. That battery is fully charged now. Wonderful. Okay. Whoop. Wrong button. Let's go here. We'll unload all of that. Yeah, I think now we're just looking for... Oh, jeez. Fragments. Oh. Welcome aboard Cal Systems Online. I suppose something else we could do is try and dump out some of this inventory stuff. Uh, yeah, that will all roll down there. Not a good cornucopia. There's a good cornucopia. Go dump a bunch of stuff in here. So is what I really want is the power cell charger, huh? Whoops. Uh, can we build that yet? I don't think we can. Yeah, nope, not yet. <laughs> Uh, give me a second here to type something in the chat so someone can at me. There we go. Not that there's ever anyone here. Yeah, that little scanner room isn't perfect, apparently. Missing a few things. Oh, 
Uh, I suppose maybe the Ultra Glide fins. That could be something we work towards. What's this? That's the mobile vehicle bay. Gotcha. Yeah, maybe we'll go work on this, making the Ultra Glide fins. If we don't already have those. Get back to our C mod. Alright, let's see here. <clears throat> Ultra Glide fins. Rubber, lithium, titanium. All right, let's go check the cornucopia that we they just we just dumped everything at. If there's any lithium there, I feel like there should be some lithium there. This way. Yeah, not seeing no lithium here. So... Lithium, oops, that's in shale deposits, right? Yep. We don't already have those on, do we? No. Oh, hey, it's Death Clicker. Hey, yo, what's Welcome up? Aboard, Welcome Captain. to the stream. Welcome to the chat. How you doing, Death Clicker? Hope you're having yourself a wonderful day. Let's see here. Shale. Shale's not popped up on the list yet. I know there should be shale down in the mushroom caves below us. Well, I think I'm going to keep this thing searching for fragments. And I'm just going to have to go down there on my own. You finally made it, yeah? Anyways, you're doing wonderful. Just a bit tired. How about me? Not too bad. Just finished eating my lunch. Uh... Don't quite know what to do. Like, uh, like I know what goes on with the story and stuff. I've played this before. It's just I don't know what I'm doing with myself right now. Looking for some shale, trying to get some lithium. I can make my ultra glide fins. Egg. <laughs> also, if you need any help, feel free to ask. I'm good. I, I've beaten this game at least two or three times now. Just exploring and adventuring. Base building and stuff, you know. Thank you for the offer. Crap snakes. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing cool. 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Diamond. Whoa. 
Whoops. By the way, do you uh, know Far Cry 6? Um, no. Um, I haven't actually played any of the Far Cry games. I've got one of them. I think it's Far Cry Primal that, that, that I bought um, off, off the Microsoft Store. I've never played it. I, I bought that a while ago along with a bunch of other games like Extinction and some other stuff. What have we got here? But I know of Far Cry. I've, I've just never played it. There's the lithium I need. Alright, rubber. Oops. Uh whoops. I can never quite remember. I think the uh, those gel sack thingies or whatever they're called. Well I wanted to say that it's not worth buying it. This Far Cry 6 is horrible. Is it? Okay. <laughs> I've played a lot of games that... Well, actually, it's a big uh, um, exaggeration. I haven't really played a lot of games in general. But I've played a few games that have nothing but bad reviews, right? And I really enjoyed them. Uh, Scorn. Uh, Immortals uh, Phoenix Rising. Right? It's not a lot of games, is it? <laughs> yeah, scoring was really good. And that game's got nothing but bad reviews. Everyone hates it. Eh? Or anyone that's got anything to say about it says that they hate it. You've completed it? Cool. Another game I found that looks a lot like Scorn is uh, Agony, Welcome right? I bought that game. And that one had nothing but bad reviews either. And I was like, oh, I'm sure it can't be that bad. <laughs> Haven't played it. Oh, shit. Haven't played it yet, though. sure you know how it is. Uh, there's always so many great new games coming out. You don't have the time to play them all. What's that? Vehicle bay fragment. Inventory full. Okay. <laughs> Can't do that. All right. Uh, why don't you repair the uh, generators in Aurora so you don't need to deal with radiation? Because I'm lazy. <laughs> I was thinking about that earlier today. So yeah, I, 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 I suppose I could do that. I, I got the uh, laser cutter. I got the repair tool. I got the radiation suit. I could go do that. Um reasonable yeah <laughs> uh, I think I'll go do that as soon as I take care of my ultra glide fins and drop a bunch of stuff off in this coral tube
Or miss. I suppose I can miss. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's going to go anywhere, right? It's in a hole. Storage lockers are overrated. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Kelp forest. This way. After some time, the items will despawn. Oh. Okay. I guess I should go make some storage then. I got a few other tubes that I filled full of stuff. I should probably go take care of that. Let's grab one of those. That's enough for two. Good, I need two. Does stuff respawn later, right? Like, 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 are there a finite number of resources? Yeah, here's one of the other tubes I stuffed full of stuff. It's like five or 10 minutes and after that it will despawn. Really? Because all this stuff has been here for about six to eight hours. <laughs> I don't need a compass. There we go. Rubber. Yeah, for you, it will despawn no matter what. Uh, what are you playing on? Uh, like what console or, or like are you playing on PC? I'm wondering if that makes the difference. Shit. Well, we have to go on Xbox. Okay. Uh, which Xbox? I need. I need to go get more stuff for rubber because I accidentally turned my rubber into fins. I I, I didn't need the, the buildy thingy. I needed the moddy thingy. <laughs> Series X? Okay, I'm on Series X, too. Uh, do you have the game set to quality or frame rate? Quality? Okay. Weird. Yeah, because my stuff's been sitting there for ages. Are you sure it's despawning and not just getting carried away somewhere? Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, I need to go make rubber. Uh, you're 100% sure? Okay. I guess I'm going to make a few storage lockers and uh, pick up all my stuff because I've been swimming next to an item and, and with no oxygen limit and have seen it despawn. 
Uh, Brittany B, uh, time to go fight a Reaper Leviathan. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Um, sometimes stuff glitches through the terrain too, Death Clicker. I, I, I don't know if that's what happened. I'm pretty sure you could see that happen. It would seep through the... Con you'd see it, like, glitch through it. And once I get the prawn suit, then maybe we'll go kill a Reaper Leviathan. See here, there we go. My ultra glide fins. I don't know what to do with those. I think I'm just gonna drop them over here. Am I trying to make you look dumb? I don't think so. <laughs> Systems online. Let's see here. Yeah, look at all that. Look at all that. food. Oh, right. Inventory full. Supposedly, some guy actually killed one with just a uh, thermoblade. I don't understand how. Oh, easy! Like this. <laughs> right? Stay away from the sharp end and slashy slash. Stabby stabby knifey knifey. That's all you gotta do. Stay away from the sharp end. Yeah, it takes time. <laughs> you, you know what I did one time, right? Um, you, you know the big sea dragon dude in, in the uh, lava area of the game, right? So he, that thing wouldn't leave my Cyclops alone, right? I put it into the quiet mode. I turned everything off. I just sat there, and it wouldn't leave it, my Cyclops alone. So what do I do? I hop in the prawn suit, and I go chase it down, right? And I'm, I'm on, the, on its back, right, right around the neck, right, of the thing. And I'm just bam, 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 punching the thing over and over again, riding, all over, riding it over the place as I punch the thing in the head. <laughs> It wouldn't leave me alone. He, he had it coming. Still haven't seen the sea dragon? No. All right, let's see here. We got to make uh, storage lockers. Titanium. Whoops. Nope, not that. Though we do need a fabricator at some point. Table coral. Yeah, let's put a fabricator in here. We just need the one table coral. That's right here. We don't have to keep running back and forth between uh, the base and uh, the life pod. He died in the first four minutes playing this game to a Reaper Leviathan. Really? Most people die in the first four minutes trying to put the fire out in, in, in the uh, escape pod. That's what happens to most people. There we go, fabricator. Some storage lockers. Yeah, I'll probably try and well, yeah, I'll probably end up taking all this apart later uh, once I get the um, Cyclops and actually like try and build a proper base. So here, I thought you were supposed to search the Aurora immediately, so 
I swam on my uh, happy ass over there to uh, get supplies. So I looked right, and and uh, the bastard just appeared and swallowed me whole. Yeah, yeah. I suppose realistically, um, that'd be probably one of the first things you want to do is search the wreckage uh, for any survivors or or, or of anything that can uh, help you survive the situation that you're in. In a, in a you know, like. It's probably a good choice to, to, to make in real life, for sure. Uh, okay, well, we're out of titanium now. Let's see here. It made sense. Uh, get supplies and search before it explodes. Yeah. Why people build these lockers when the, the, the normal uh, big lockers uh, uh, that last... A thing that you do. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Why people build uh, the, these uh, this lockers when the normal big lockers has a lot more space? Uh, I uh, I don't know. This one here, it takes more materials. <laughs> it takes it takes quartz. Um, I think they also take up a little bit more space. Uh, you can name these ones, right? You, you, you can uh, name what you got in there on those ones. See here, but apparently that's the last thing that you, you, you do. Yeah. See here. I like the wall lockers because I can name them. Yeah, see? Brittany knows what's up. <laughs> but it's actually two times the size of storage. Yeah. Vital signs stabilizing. All right, so we're gonna go collect all the stuff that we uh, dropped off in these various little uh, coral t coral tubes and store it. Hoping that I can find the other two coral tubes that I left stuff in. There's four coral tubes that I that I've been using as uh, storage. You just have one room filled uh, with the wall lockers for quicker access with my fabricator and use other storage for extra stuff. Okay. Yeah, typically what I'll end up doing, right? Uh, this was before uh, we had the huge uh, big room here, right? But what I used to do is I'd have like bunch of the uh, multi-purpose rooms stacked up on each other and is essentially just my storage silo everything went in there everything was labeled too and I think I had stuff categorized as well welcome aboard captain All right, so this is one of the coral tubes, one of the other ones. The other two are filled with nothing but titanium, but I still want to try and find them. Inventory full. Try to build one normal locker just to see what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. Did you drop all this stuff there? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Inventory Captain. gets full and I just drop everything there, right? Uh, let's see here. Do I have quartz for this? I don't have quartz for this at the moment. But I do know that there's a lot more space in there for those. 
these I like to have around, not for for storage, but like just because they, they, they kind of like build the space, you know, they don't, they, oh, um, titanium, turn those into titanium. Yeah, no, I'm too lazy to sort things right now. Yes, I know the specimen jar can be placed out somewhere. I mean, I'm not trying to tell you what to build, but it's actually a lot better to build the normal lockers because it takes less space. Okay. Yeah, I know you're not trying to tell me what to do. Let's see here. There should be a couple. Where's the. It's over here, so those should be. Yeah, there they are. The acid shrooms that I picked up and left lying around. There we go. Uh, I don't remember picking that up. I don't know how that got there. Here. I'm surprised to see the items actually stayed there. Yeah, so sometimes things will... Uh, it's the metal salvage that usually gets picked up by the stalkers. But, like, stuff can swim into it, too. Or, uh, I'm pretty sure stuff can swim into it, too, and knock it around and stuff. Where's that? Uh, should be right around here. Take that. It's like the, these things don't disappear, right? They don't despawn. So I don't see why anything else would. I need to go find the rest of my stuff. Nope, oh, not in there. See, the only thing I've had disappear on me was the water locker. I was so sad. Yeah, I, I don't make those water lockers, right? Because they... Not because they despawn. I've never had them despawn on me. But I'm not sure that I can deconstruct those. Get my resources back. BRB? Okay. Yeah, there should be a couple more noodles. <laughs> uh, the, a couple more of those coral tube noodle things. Uh, this looks like one of them that I would use. I have no idea where exactly they, uh, they were that I used them. <laughs> I think I put the uh, water locker too close to a cliff, and maybe it glitched inside. Yeah, yeah. Um, that happens a lot with the sea moth, right? Uh, the island, I think, is out. 
this way, one of the islands. But yeah, there's a floating island and the, and the not floating island. If you get your, if you park your seamoth too close to that, and then take off somewhere on the island, when you come back, your seamoth is stuck inside the island. It really sucks. Uh, I suppose, thinking about it, I don't need to go look for my coral tubes. No. Why look for the coral tubes when I can have the scanner room look for titanium? Because that's what I stuffed inside those coral tubes. <laughs> Well, thanks for a forewarning. Uh, doing, going to be extra careful now. Yeah. Like, like. First time I played the game, I parked about this close to, to actually, it might be that close to the island, right? Thinking I need to keep my my ship secure, my little sea moss secure, so it doesn't get float float away with the current. I came back and it was stuck inside the island. So to be safe. I tend to keep like at least this far away from things if I'm gonna leave my sea moth anywhere. Yeah. All right, titanium. Will this thing search for shale yet? Has it picked up any shale? It has. Cool. All right, titanium. Here. I've seen people uh, beach the sea moth, but I've never saw it get stuck inside, lol. Yeah. I tried beaching the cyclops, too. <laughs> like, you know how you go really fast, right? And then you breach the water like that, right? You, you fly out of the... Whoops. You fly out of the water. You can do that with the sea moth... Not the sea moth, but the cyclops. If you turn the engine speed all the way up, right? And and I tried beaching that thing, but like like... Because it's so long, right? Like, this is the front, and this is the back, right? You got the beach here, and, it, and the engine's still in the water, right? So you can just pull it back out. <laughs> I wanted to get the thing properly beached. Something else I've managed to do is get the uh, Cyclops flipped upside down, right? Like, like with the Cyclops, you really only have your yaw control, right? for rotation and then you can go forward back up and down right you don't have pitch and even with the sea moth you don't have roll right where you can't go this way right but what you can do right let's see here good little edge you catch one edge on something and then you go down right and you get things going sideways and it takes a long time, not like a really long time, but it takes a long enough time for the Cyclops to, to right itself. Yeah, I saw someone accidentally do do like, like a wheelie in their Cyclops because they were running from enemies. Yeah. And every time I, at least I used to happen, right? It didn't happen the most recent times that I was flipping my Cyclops upside down. But like normally what would happen is as it's writing itself, if you're not at the controls, uh, you will get ejected from the thing and sometimes even die. <laughs> Alright, titanium. Looking for my titanium. I'm pretty sure my titanium was out to the west. It's not showing up yet. I think I'm just gonna head out uh, west, this way. See if I can find it. Might have been in the north. I think I've checked this tube already. 
Yeah, no, I wouldn't use this tube because that leads out to the hill right here, and then all my stuff would end up down there. You're back. Welcome back, Death Clicker. So, Brittany, Death Clicker, did you know that you can take these little floater dudes, right? And stick them to the wildlife? Let me show you. Welcome aboard, Captain. A sign. I missed. Where'd it go? I'm gonna die. Alright, let's try this one here then. Yeah, there we go. See, it's stuck to him. Oh, they're both stuck to him. <laughs> Dude, I got so many hours on this game. I, I you do know that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I only learned that a few days ago, right? Uh, I, I swing by. Um, I was coming back to my base. And I saw a really small uh, reef back, and I thought to myself, I wonder if I could load up that reef back full of floaters and make it float up to the surface. So I grabbed a, I, I grabbed one floater just to see if I could stick it to the thing, right? And I can. And I thought to myself, I wonder if I could do that to one of these guys. Turns out I can. <laughs> What you can do with them. Um, I think what they're supposed to be used for, the intention behind them, is the attach them. Like sometimes you'll find rocks like this, right? They're blocking the cave entrance, and you can attach a bunch of those to the rock and, and have the rock float up, and so you can get into the cave. Uh, it also works sometimes if you get your sea moth stuck. And you can attach the those to the sea moth, and, and it'll try and pull your sea moth up out of the water. They are not useless. They are tons of fun. Oh, titanium. That might be, uh, no, that's just from a rock that I broke. Oh, let's grab that anyways. You accidentally caught a stalker with a grab trap? Cool. Something I don't like, right? Is how you stop spinning, right? You lose all your spinning momentum when you breach the water. That's not how physics physics. I should continue spinning. Oh my. Yeah, I think this is the first one that I stuck a floater to. <laughs> oh, this looks promising. What's in here? Nothing in here. I'm starting to wonder if my scanner room is even working. I can't imagine I was that far away when I, when I stuffed everything in, into those tubes. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, still searching for titanium. I suppose I can finish this.
Uh, I suppose while we wait for the titanium, I can go make the laser cutter. Uh, we're going to need fire extinguishers, too. See, where did I leave my sea moth? This way. Uh, do you have the HUD upgrade? Uh, the one that shows me the stuff? Let me one sec. This one? Scanner room HUD, uh, HUD chip? Well, I gotta go, man. I'm about to uh, go to cinema, see ya, have, and have fun. Alright. Thank you for stopping by, Death Clicker. I hope you enjoy the movie. Alright, let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna need the laser cutter. I'm gonna need the repair kit. I'm gonna need the radiation suit. I got the laser. I uh, know. I got the repair kit. I got the radiation suit. Yeah. <laughs> the scanner room is almost useless without this. Almost. Uh, so, fire extinguishers, laser cutters, food, water, water's probably going to be more important. We'll find food and water there, but maybe not enough. So... Water. Let's go make some water. We're gonna go find some fish. Some fish. Get this thing fully charged. Whoops. Everything's okay in here. I didn't break nothing. Doesn't look like I broke nothing. <laughs> Alright, see so your water. Where'd he go? Grab a little bit of food. Okay. Uh, equipment, I suppose. Where's equipment? Electronics. There's equipment. Okay, uh, tools. Laser cutter. Clear all that. There we go. Tools. Laser cutter. Is that a battery that requires a battery? Whoops. Uh, equipment. Fire extinguishers. That's just titanium. There we go. Cave sulfur. Do I have cave sulfur? Nope. Diamonds. A couple diamonds. Uh, acid mushrooms. Copper, that's gold, right? Yeah. That's all gold there, too. Hey. 
Oh, hey, there's some cave sulfur. Ow. Oh, crap. Titanium. Copper, there we go. Our battery. Uh, health packs, too. Med kits. First aid kits. Should probably make a few of those. Or bring a few of those. That there. Laser cutter. Some water. Fire extinguishers. Med kits. Oh, I got a fire extinction there. I'm going to take. Got that nutrient block there. And the problem is, too, you use so much stuff to find aboard the Aurora. Make multiple trips. Uh, okay, so I need to go use the washroom right now. All this water has got to make me go pee pee. I'll be right back. There we go. I'm back. All right, let's go uh, check out the Aurora. 
What's left of it, anyways? Really? Really? That's all what just happened, right? Sure enough, as soon as you want to go do something, you get a phone call saying, oh, you get this, that, and the other thing. Uploaded to PDA. This is the one that's on the edge of that cave, the, the big crevice. One sec, I need to adjust stuff. Uh, where, where there's a lot of rubies, I'm sure of it. I'm sure it was this one. Well, I guess we're going to go do that. Oh, radiation. Whoops. I should probably repair this thing before it explodes. Or implodes, I should say. We're underwater. That's part of the scanner room, that little disc over there, right? Yeah, scanner room fragment. Oh hey, more titanium, wonderful. That, I think, is part of the scanner room. That was uh, one of the reactors. Repaired this thing. Holy crap. Efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Look at all those amp eels here now, too. Yeah, no, this is not the one. Not the one I was thinking of. Back up a bit, illuminate the area. Repulsion cannon. Detecting volcanic activity and several unusual electromagnetic signatures in the region. Exercise caution when diving deeper. That was close.
I'm uh, not really a doctor. I know that's what my ID says, but I never have been. Cheated the medical exams. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? That's what the robots are for. Doctors these days read diagnoses off of computer readouts. For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good is it when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. The only thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. What the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? I think I'm actually going to die down here. Speaking of self-scan... Uh, okay. Well, let's get back to... I think the Aurora is this way. Yeah, I suppose I should have been able to figure that out from this stuff down here. Oops. Oh, that food. I think now's a good time to eat that fish. Get rid of that water. Ouch. Sometimes getting the fires to stay out is a bit difficult. A second, let me increase the brightness. Let you guys better see what I'm seeing. Simulate what it'd be like for your eyes to adjust to the darkness. Uh, 
I think you're supposed to use the cannon to get up and over this. But who's got time for that? Right, A is not the jump button. PDA data. Integrating new PDA data. There we go. Now we're well oversaturated. PDA data. Install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Damn it, drone. I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Sensors recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweak the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. <sighs> drone, I know... His name's Albert now. Albert, I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion can retrieved. Thank you. Now go away. Entering hibernation mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Or safer. Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored. I take a spacewalk in my skivvies. Skivvies. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Note to self. 1454. Let me... There we go. 1454 bay, cargo bay code. Huh? Oh, that's weird. Looks like I broke it again. One second there, everybody. Uh, hit this button here. I'm gonna hit this button over here. And I'm gonna hit this button again. See your fort. Jesus Christ. Fort. Realistically, there would be no way that you breathe in here. Nutrient block, sweet. Nutrient block. Cyclops engine fragment.
Water. Nutrient block. Nutrient block. Nutrient block. And it happened again. I don't know what's wrong with my computers now. Laser cutter. Integrating new PDA data. Yeah, it looks like I broke the internet again. Battery inventory full. Not ideal. Bay. Repair tool. Let's see here. Did I just drop that? Shit. There it is, stuck in the wall. Alright. 
on the other side of the half breach in this room. Power cell. Yeah, I'll be back for all this stuff at some point, I'm sure. Captain's quarters. Cabin one. Integrating new PDA data. No, what really sucks is that you can't fill these with items, right? And, and then pick it up because it's full of <gasps> items. Ah! Fuck! Integrating new PDA data. See what we got. Today's menu. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. 
Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you, and I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, okay, so clues. What do we got here? Sweet officer. Uh, cabin 1, 1869. 1869, cabin 1. Cabin one. Damn it. Integrating new PDA data. I know that there's a code somewhere around for, for the, uh, ow! Captain's quarters. I just, maybe I didn't look hard enough here. Didn't take a good enough look through here. Uh, maybe it's not even here. Let's see here. I believe it's this way. Not in there. Flashlight. There it is, this way. Ouch, ouch, this hurts. Ouch. Integrate new PDA data. Okay. We're good for oxygen at this moment. Get through this door. Here, what have we got through here? Lab access. Are we gonna need that?
Sixty four eighty three. That's not a six. Six. Four. Eight. Three. Data bank corruption was detected on your PDA. Your technology blueprints have been updated. Integrating new PDA data. Integrating new PDA data. How do I get out of here now? Oh yeah, this way, this way. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. <laughs> Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Shit. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. 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 Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected.
battery die on this thing? Really? Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. There we go. That's been fixed. Drive core breach sealed. Radiation levels decreasing. Damn it. Huh? Nothing good there, okay. Oh, I think we're just gonna get out of here. Just gonna skedaddle. Well, this is boot. What we got here? Integrating new PDA data. We already got one of those. Ouch! Yeah, I know, I'm not putting a whole lot of effort into searching this place, am I?
Well, after a couple days, the radiation should, go, should die down. You can explore a little more freely then. Let's go see if the scanner room has picked up on my uh, titanium that I left laying around. That'd be nice. That looks about right. Okay, yeah. There is definitely a lot right there. It's one of the spots that we were using. There should be another one somewhere. Our inventory is rather full at the moment, so we're going to empty that out in some of those lockers, then we're going to go back and pick up that uh, titanium there. Welcome aboard, Captain. Like, I may have put something away that I shouldn't have. Sure, my repair tool would normally go there. Oh uh, yeah, no, my sea glide goes not there. There we go. And the habitat builder I have set right there. There we go. That's back to normal. Come on. Yeah, stuff can definitely glitch through other stuff. Oh, shit. There we go. Well, there should be another tube somewhere around. With the rest of my titanium in it.
Well... I think I'm gonna go make a compass. Uh, let's see here. Copper wire wiring kit. Copper wire wiring kit. Well, there's some silver. Where'd it go? Right, that's the copper I need. Now I need some silver. One more silver. Lead. Is that a tooth? Yeah, stalker tooth. Ow, you mother. You wanna go, punk? You wanna go? Come on. It's so tough now, are you?
wire. Wiring kit. Compass. I think at this point we're just going to go and explore. Um, I might even try and build another scanner room. Let's see here, from here. North, what's north of us? cameras. Yeah, the Aurora is south, right? Yeah. Okay, so north. Ow. Trying to measure out a decent distance to, to go and try and build another uh, scanner room. The li as little overlap as possible. <sighs> oh yeah, there, there's the uh, gasopod there. There's the uh, two floaters that I attached to the poor thing. Ooh, that was close. Alright, looks like camera's getting pretty fuzzy. Five hundred meters. Five hundred meters puts us where? Right about there, gotcha, okay. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay. Nailed it. All right, let's go build a beacon. Ah, uh, substance. 
uh, sustenance substance. Uh, tools? Is it in tools? Equipment. Deployables. Beacon. I'm gonna need a copper for that. Let's go find some copper. Let's go eat some food. Can I eat the eggs? No? Alright. That there, that there, that goes in there, that, that, there we go. Alright, copper. I think maybe we go west, I don't know. Eh, north, 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 we already decided on north. Also, it's time, oh my god, for a short camera break. I think this was about it. This is about 500 meters out, isn't it? No, oh, that's only three or so. Almost four. Now we're about 500 meters out. It's a long way down, holy. Erosion patterns of land masses 
suspended here suggest they once floated on the surface. <laughs> Fuck, that's bad. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, it looks like my camera's doing stupid things again. Or not my camera, my computer. Camera breaks over. There we go. So I want another uh, uh, scanner room somewhere around here. Oh, for Christ's sakes. I am going to kill you. Oh God, we're gonna die. So, about putting a scanner room here, this is, this is uh, looking a little dangerous. Also, I have to go to the bathroom again. I'll be right back. Okay, okay, I'm back. Uh, let's see if I can fix this here. There we go. Okay, so if we're going to build a scanner room over here. Hmm. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing I think we're going to try and put our scanner room over oxygen here. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. There we go. 
now I have to go back and get stuff for the scanner room to actually build it along the little hatch and pro oopsies. probably some, uh, one sec, uh, hall reinforcements. There we go. Yeah, we're just about right above it. A little further out than I wanted to. Yeah. Right over here might be better. Pretty close. Yeah, that is well too close. Definitely want it right there. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. and coral tubes. Huh. Okay, so scanner room. Where's all that at? Scanner room. I want one of these. Gonna need one of these. Probably one of those. Pretty sure I have everything but the quartz and the lithium. Uh, the table coral I can get fairly easily. Also, a one hour heads up. We've got about an hour left in this stream. I'm gonna go stop for supper. I'm really feeling like I'm gonna go cook that steak. I bought myself a steak yesterday when I went and done groceries as a little treat to myself. We 
Yeah, this way. Keep going this way. Look for that mushroom cave. somewhere this way more there it is copper I needed that copper right Passing 100 meters Got a couple of these Oxygen right here decreased. knife knifey 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 stabby stabby One copper. Oof. Shale, looking for some shale. There's some Passing shale. 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Diamond. Gold. There's the lithium. Alright, so that's... I need 10 titanium total. Let's see if I can find some more copper. Uh, there should be, yeah, quartz right here. Oh, there's some more limestone. Cross your fingers for some copper. that. Oh, that was weird. Nope, nope, nope. Where'd that thing even come from? Yeah, it was weird. All my chat just disappeared. That was that was interesting. Well, just in case, let's go like that. Yeah, there is. someone can at me if they need to, if they want to. Six of these. There we go. I'm 
Let's go build another uh, scanner room. Damn it, out of the way. Uh, that would require a scanner room upgrade things there too, huh? This one's still searching for titanium? Yep. Copper. I'm going to need four copper and four magnetite. Four more copper, four more magnetite. Let's pin that. All systems online. Where am I going? It's, yeah, this way. Sandstone, don't need that. Yeah, let's see if we can find that magnetite. Ah, spinning out of control! <laughs> Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters, oxygen uh, efficiency we should probably, decreased. Oh, God. I forgot to keep an eye on my food and hydration. Yeah, those are shale. That's shale. There's some magnetite. Ah! Ah! All right, one more magnetite. Some more magnetite, I think. Uh, it's just part of the stupid terrain. There we go. All 
Alright, we need three more copper. Whoops. Let's head back to the base, get some food and water Let's into us. Yes, I know. Still got bubbles coming out of it, even though it's not even underwater no more. Damn it. Vital signs stabilizing. right there. Nope. Alright, two more copper. Crash fish. a bit low on inventory space, aren't we? Uh, not too bad. Welcome aboard, Captain. Some sandstone over there. Sorry, I hit my mic. Alright, one more copper. Nope. Ah! 
so. Where was that? Right there. Nope. There we go, that's everything I need. Oh, but... Where did I put my beacon? That way. I wonder if that beacon will be right where I left it or something tried to take it away on me. Ouch. Yeah, it looks like it's right where I left it. It's just floating there. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot about that. You need power. God damn it. I wonder if we could use solar power from these things. What's the water temp down here? Uh, this thing's not going to tell me. It's cold down here. I may just want to go all the way down. See if I can find a thermal vent down there. That might make a bit more sense. That or you'd have to go nuclear. Go the nuclear route. There's a thermal vent. There's a few thermal vents. Oh shit.
That is about a kilometer away. Where it is that? Oh god, it's almost directly above me. Almost. I'm thinking it might be a good idea to shift to uh, just GTFO right now. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot I need to power things. Electricity? Pfft, what's that? Yeah, let's repair this before we die. I think what I'm going to do is just uh, continue searching for fragments with my scanner room over here. See if we we'll see what kind of stuff we can find. Uh, rebuild some stuff. I really want to get that Cyclops. gel. That requires the gel sacks, doesn't it? And I don't know how to make arrow gel yet. And it doesn't look like I'm going to find my titanium here. my base somewhere too. I don't like where it is right now. All systems online.
Eh, fuck, I'm gonna go on an adventure. You like the look of that thing? Hey, bud, you like it? You like this, huh? You like this? Punk. That's a lot of titanium. Right, so what do I have left to find to make my Cyclops? I need a hull fragment, two edging fragments, and I think that might be it. Like a scanner room fragment. Yep. The bioreactor fragment. Yep. That'll salvage a spiky motherfucker. Uh, I should probably should have ate before we left. Titanium. Yeah, so now I gotta go back. I can't plan ahead. One and two, yeah, these ones. Look at all those, wow. Actually, this is looking like it's far enough away that it might be some something I could use. I may not already have. in those crates. What's that? Reactor fragment. Seamoth fragment. It's a scanner room fragment. How far away are we from... Yeah, we're not quite far enough away that it we're out of range yet, so more stuff might appear out this way later.
Alright, so we got only about 20 minutes left before the end of the uh, stream. I'm gonna go make some steak. Right, put shit away first. I was about ready to go if I can go exploring again. Completely forgetting. Yeah, I came here for this. There we go. Now let's go exploring again. <gasps> That one showed up last we were here. Bioreactor and open Seamoth fragment. Alright, what do we have here? Oh yeah, the freaking spiky boy there again. Let's see, is there any way inside here? Just this. Charger fragment, we've already gotten that. That's not gonna open. Ah, uh, laser cutter. What do 
have gotten here. Come on, move. Battery charger fragment. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. Might help if I had a freaking flashlight. We're gonna die down here. What's this? Water? Modification station. stuff. Alright, anyway, so we got about 10 minutes left to uh, end of the stream. Fragment. Do we need hull fragments? I don't think we need hull fragments, do we? Oh, we did. All right. That means it's just two engine fragments, right? Yeah, now we just need two engine fragments. Sweet. That's another hull fragment, isn't it? Both of those, right? Hull fragment. Hull fragment. Is that a giant salt deposit? It is. Hull fragment. It's titanium. Aren't these used for something?
Reaper Leviathans. Wonderful. Oh, the game's not doing a very good job of rendering stuff in right now, is it? part of the engine? that thing. Bridge fragment. What does that look like? 
does that look like to you? Because to me, it looks like success. All right. You know what this means? This means we, we, we can now build the Cyclops. And do you know what that means? It means the real fun can begin! Jump in for joy. All right, so let's save my game. Oh. We saved, right? Yeah, okay. So, that's going to do it for my episode of uh, Subnautica here for today. Uh, I'm going to go cook a steak, a really good steak. Give me a second here. I hope it's going to be a really good steak. Got some rosemary, some thyme, and some garlic on there, right? I'm going to go fry that up on a nice frying pan there. Make it real nice and good and juicy and tasty and yummy and good. <laughs> so, for my viewers here on Twitch, I thank you for stopping by, hanging out, chilling out, chatting, supporting the channel in the ways that you do. Thank you. And for my uh, viewers on the YouTubes, uh, Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next episode. And until then, y'all have yourselves a wonderful day. Bye.